Hey everybody, welcome to Titans of CNC Academy. My name is Billy Boyce. Right now, I'm going to take you through modeling the Titan 2M using Mastercam 2020. First thing we're going to do is start on sheet one of three for the Titan 2M. What we want to do is make sure we are in wireframe. So up here across the top, let's go to wireframe and start this off with a rectangle. I'm going to come right here to the center where our XYZ coordinate is and I'm going to snap one time, kind of drag it over to the bottom right, and then I'm going to press W on the keyboard. And that'll launch us over into the left hand side where we have a dialog box. And that put us right in the width field. So let's go ahead and fill that out. That is 5. Then I'm going to press tab and type in minus 1.95. I'm going to press enter and OK. Now I'm going to right click, select fit, and then we're going to move over to the solids. So I'm going to come up here to solids and hit extrude. I want to make sure chain is selected and then I'm just going to go ahead and select one of the lines. It should chain all the way around. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit this green check mark which is OK kind of rotate this around. Now I want to make sure you may be looking like this where uh, Z is up and the part is going up from the Z. We want to flip that around so that everything is going down from that surface. And the distance is going to be 0.750. We should leave everything else alone, just that. So now we can go ahead and say OK. And there we go. So let's go ahead and add the chamfers on each corner. So we'll come up here to Modify Chamfer. These are kind of like your selection boxes. It allows you to check some things. So this will allow you to select edges, surfaces, the whole body, through the body to a backside. The only thing I want right now is corners. Um, I can leave it the way it is and you can, you know, kind of select like that, but you could accidentally select something else. So to make things a little easier, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so that the only thing selected is edge and then that makes it real easy to select those edges. So all we need to do is select all four of those edges. Once you have all of those selected go ahead and click OK. We should leave all this stuff alone and the only thing we're going to do is come down here to distance and type in 0.25. Enter. You get a preview looks good. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Now we need to go ahead and add some corner fillets. So we'll go up here to modify constant fillet. Again, I like it to just have the edge highlighted, make selections a little easier and a little quicker. Once you've got all of those, Let's go ahead and say OK. Going to go ahead and leave everything alone. Radius is going to change to 0.125. You can go ahead and press enter, get the preview. Looks good. So let's go ahead and say OK. And that finishes off sheet one of three. So we can move on to sheet two of three. Here we're going to be adding our holes. So let's go ahead and come back up to wireframe and we're just going to put some points down. So we'll go point and from here all we have to do is type in the coordinates. And the way we do that is we just go ahead and type 2.125 comma and it's going to be a minus 0.35. Enter. And let me go ahead and reorientate this for everybody so it makes a little more sense. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep on going. So 2.875 comma minus 0.35 enter. Now I'm going to go 2 inches comma minus 0.975 enter. 3 inches comma minus 0.975 enter. Then we're going to go 2.125 comma minus 1.6 enter. 2.875 comma minus 1.6 enter. And that looks good, so we can go ahead and hit the green check mark. 
say OK. Now let's go ahead and make these holes. So we'll come over here to solid up here. We'll say hole. It's going to be a simple hole, solid target, top, plane, orientation, position. We'll just go ahead and select this arrow. I'm going to come over here and choose our six points. As you can see right here, once we've selected, press enter. It's going to go ahead and give us a preview. So let's go ahead and check the rest of the boxes. We're going to come over here to depth. We have a minimum depth of 375 for the tap or the thread. Uh, let's go ahead and make these holes 550 deep. The angle on the tip of the drill is a 140. It's going to be a simple hole type. Diameter is going to be a 0.228. We're going to be using a roll form tap. Let's go ahead and add the top chamfer, so check that box. The print provides us with a chamfer diameter of 0.275. So 275, and the angle will be a 90. Once we've done all that, we can go ahead and hit the green check mark, OK, and it looks good. So that finishes off sheet two of three, so now we can move on to three of three. Here we're going to be adding the open pockets and some chamfers and fillets. So let's go ahead and move on to that. First thing we want to do is we're going to go to wireframe and we're going to go to point. Again, I'm going to go ahead and reorientate us real quick. There we go. So now I've already hit point, so I can go ahead and just start typing. I'm going to type in 0.5 comma zero. Enter and then 1.5 comma minus 1.95 enter 3.5 comma minus 1.95 enter 4.5 comma 0 enter now the only thing we have to do is come up to rectangle we'll go from this point to that point from this point to that point Let's go ahead and say OK. Now we can go solids and extrude. Want to make sure chain is selected. Let's choose this line and that line. Then we can say OK. Go ahead and rotate this so we can get a good look at it. We're not creating a body, we're cutting the body. Let's go ahead and leave everything else alone. Come down here to distance. That distance is 0.4. Go ahead and hit enter so we can get a preview. Looks good, so let's go ahead and say OK. Now let's go to constant fillet. We're going to go ahead and choose our corners here, just on that new cutout. We'll say OK once we've got those selected. That's too large of a radius, so let's look at our print. We see we have a radius of 20, so we'll say 0.02. Enter, we get the preview, looks good. Let's go ahead and say OK. So let's go ahead and add the chamfers to deburr all the sharp edges. Come up here to chamfer. I'm going to go ahead and turn on faces to make this a little easier. I'm going to go ahead and select that face, this face, and the bottom face. I'm not going to do that here because it'll also grab the chamfers and try to add a chamfer there again. I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift and just select the edge and it should chain its way around. We'll say OK. Now it's wanting to know the distance. We'll say 0.01 and enter. Looks good. Let's go ahead and say OK. Now the only thing I want to do is turn these sketches off. Um, we'll have to put it on a different level to do that. So the way we're going to do that is come over here to this little side action and say select all wireframe entities. You select that, it highlights. You can then right click and say change the level. Sometimes this will be checked and so you'll need to uncheck it at which point you can now add a number two tab tab and you can type in wire frame. Say OK. Now all you have to do is select that X 
the wireframe goes away, and there you have your solid model. And there you go, that is the Titan 2M in Mastercam 2020.